Hey there, Station Nation. I'm down here on the floor of the RTB X1100, and you've probably seen this before. So here's the brake pedal, and here's the, the we can call it the accelerator. We'll, we'll call it the foot control is probably the best way to say it because it does more than just accelerate. There's pretty much two things that this one does. Actually, there's two things that the brake does. I have another video out there that when you step on the brake, it actually does two different things. It does one is apply the brakes, you stop, but it also... Um, pulls on a cable that operates the the pressure relief valve or unloading valve for your transmission. So watch that video if you if you're having hard shifting, um, a lot of it is going to come from this brake pedal not being adjusted right in the back. I have a video for that. Watch that. So there's two adjustments on this pedal. So this is the fuel. This is the foot pedal, accelerator pedal, maybe you could call it, and there's two different things. I'm sure everybody sees that this this screw here, and, and maybe you're wondering what this screw is for, and we'll get to that in a second, but this here linkage is going to be probably uh, first on the list. So when, when you press on this gas pedal, uh, it starts pulling on this cable from up here. It's kind of hard to see, but try to set this in the right spot. There's a little bit of linkage here, and then there's the end of the cable here. And then when you press on this, it starts pulling on that cable. And that, that does two things in the back. That operates your HST, your hydro, hydrostatic transmission, and accelerates uh, the fuel in the engine. So it, it starts giving the engine more fuel, and then it also starts giving the transmission forward motion. And that's that's a whole nother video. But the first thing that I would like to say is a lot of a lot of times these cables get stretched out. So the more that you're using this, this cable in here is just a braided steel cable. So as this gets stretched out, this linkage is gonna have some slop in it. So if you don't, when you press on this uh, pedal, see I have just this a little bit right there. That's about all the play I have before it starts actuating. So I've seen some of these where you can press this down a quarter of the way and it's not even actuating yet. So that's 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 a no-no. So the first thing that you want to do in here is there are two uh, nuts in here. This is just a kind of a set of retaining nuts or lock nuts. You can loosen up this one. We're gonna loosen. Well, it might be better to have two um, two uh, wrenches in here, but so you can loosen these up right independently. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to tighten this one up. As you tighten this lower one, so loosen them both up, but then start to tighten this one. And as you tighten it, it's going to draw this cable back, which is going to bring that cable back up there. So then you're going to have um, better foot control. Like this is going to have better response time. So when you step on the, the accelerator pedal, that's going to accelerate like immediately. So you want as little a slop as possible in there, but you do want a little bit of play. So you don't want this to be um, so tight that you're that you're getting more engine RPM. That's that's not great. So you want this to be all the way zeroed out so your engine idle speed is just idle. So I have just this little bit of play in here. And then when I press on this thing, it's going. Like we're going right away, right? So that's this. So loosen these up basically back this top one out as far as you can get it and then start tightening this lower one and that's going to draw that back and then as you're drawing it back just just watch that play just keep going and then tighten it a little bit more keep going tighten a little bit more and then lock this top one down on it and then you got that locked and then now we're going to get to this guy this guy really is just a stop for the back side of this so this is the travel distance right so the, the further this pedal can go down, the more travel this line can go. And that's going to have some implications in the back. So um, on mine, I will set this as low as possible. You can almost throw this thing away because this pedal actually hits this cable before it gets to this plastic. So this is, is, this is almost on this cable. So if you want to protect this cable, this is very important. But this stop is going to be the distance that you can go. So really all of the throttle that you could ever get out of this thing is because of this this stop right here. So in mine, I will keep this all the way down. Actually, there's, there's typically a uh, locking nut down here uh, that you'll have to unscrew. You'll have to unscrew that nut locking nut, back it all the way out, and then you can crank this down. But I found that that locking nut is actually is losing me some travel distance, which has the implication in the back. So 
you can just, uh, I, I don't know how to say this. What I have done is remove that locking nut and screwed this all the way down to the, the bottom. Both of these are 12 millimeter wrenches. So this is a 12, mil, 12 millimeter and this is a 12 millimeter. So really just crank this all the way down. That's gonna give you more travel. And then in the next video, uh, I will talk more about the back side of this. So just doing this, this one is gonna help you out a lot just to get that, um, that response time down better. And then this one is gonna give you more travel, which will do two things really in the back. It's going to give you, it potentially could give you more engine RPM. Maybe, maybe not. There's some reasons for that. But it's also going to open up your HTS or HST valve uh, more, so you actually could end up with more forward or reverse uh, flow in your in your HST. So, all right, so that's the inside uh, linkage of the foot control pedal. So, uh, the next thing we're going to talk back in here, we're going to talk about that linkage comes into here and starts actuating this rod. And this rod does two different things. So when you when you pull on that, it's actually going to pull on this guy here like this. And then that's going to head, head down to your throttle. That's going to go to your engine. And then that also is going to head over this way and then go back to your transmission. So that's up in the next video. I just want to keep these things a little bit shorter so you're not scrolling through an hour-long video, uh, you know, trying to find the part that you really want to know. So just a little bit shorter. Uh, so thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for watching. And... Uh, I guess uh, see you in the next one.